What's going on YouTube? Part six of Tell Me Why. We're gonna jump right into it. Man, I, think I can't we're believe Brian Eddie. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Parking the car where? Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Ooh, man. I'm gonna go with this. I can't it's, do it. It's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. I mean, that whole conversation really felt like, you know, when you get a real estate agent or whatever and you're trying to sell a house and they're just like, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this without giving you any of the details. We don't know how much the cash offer is. We don't know anything other than the fact that it is a cash offer. Like, why am I going to just blindly accept that? I don't know. That felt like the right call by me. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously biased. It was my decision. Am I missing anything? I always try to go down the path I don't think I'm supposed to go on in case there's like something I can interact with like that. Marianne was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. Okay. Can I look at the bulletin board? Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Hey, every vote counts. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. Have we? That's beautiful. All right, well. I'm gonna wait till this fire truck passes and then I'm gonna talk to uh, our, our brother over here. All right, cool. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. Realtor, that's the word for it. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. 
We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? Then I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? I have to talk to him first? You're gonna sulk all day. Definitely not that one. I think we go with, I like this view. Try to ground the whole situation. Our hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. It's pretty crazy. Hey, what's up, Vinzard? Someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Yeah. Who has that kind of money and wants to buy a house in Delos Crossing? Now we'll never know. We'll get another buyer. Hmm. Hopefully. Is that it? <laughs> oh, it's snowing. Oh, it's snowing the whole time. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We looked like little freaks. No one else could play with us. Mm. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. There's no guarantee it would have been that much money. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. So I guess we're going back down to the car. Is something going to happen while we're walking? Feels weird to have us walk all the way back. What was that noise? It sounded like a branch breaking in the in the back. Hey, look what Where I you? found. What? I was just here earlier. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been Ollie here before. And we claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. <clears throat> All it needs is a little update. And replace the O with the T. 
What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Now it says OTA. OTA, a character in a game we're going to be streaming on Twitch tomorrow in AI Somnium. Arborglyph? Nice. So? All right. What's the plan? Let's go talk to him. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Yeah, calmly ask him with our gun Let's out. try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Hmm. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more... It's been good to see Allison. Uh, she's been talking yes. non-stop about yeah, you lately. I know she's happy to have, to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, so to Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. Like you were spot on. Yeah, the state needs to be giving school school way more there. money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh, oh. Mmm... Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from, and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. Uh, Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you, you might be able to snag him when he's done. Okay. Oh my god, you were standing next to me this whole time? 16, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Copy. Better get cracking on that arrest then. Later. Are they done talking? Circling him like a shark. Alright, I'll come back to you a little bit later. Can I talk to, uh... Who are you again? Dude, what is up with that cut? Holy moly! Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. 
but you couldn't stay to give Tyler Ronan. Uh, Good to see I you again. You've now. gotten tall. That usually behind. happens between ages 11 and 21. Says here <laughs> yeah, uh, hospital? well, uh, right. welcome sure home. It certainly is. Don't want to tell Thanks. Never been so it's been a while. Now. So, what brings you two around? At one of the only hospitals in southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Neon lights and smelly uh, yeah, food. Of course. I like that answer. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? Mm. He can't Busy day around here? File. No. The fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler? Uh, can you come here? Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five and got ready for work. I feel rude Isabella's interrupting. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at six. I made breakfast. And as we were eating, I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Someone, something, was going through our mailbox. Tyler, My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid around her size. She shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. A little kid. Hmm. That's what she said. A little kid wearing stripes. What about you? Are you sure you didn't see anything? I... No. I'm sorry. I guess this is for the male bandit. Morning, Chief oh, let's Brown. Talk. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Are we going to do it ourselves? Ooh, man. All right, well, I'm going to go with Y. I can't do it, bro. I can't. No. I don't know. We can't just say we, can't we do know much. he's lying because we saw it in a vision. <laughs> yeah. We need some solid proof. You mean yeah. like a case file? Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. <laughs> so both answers lead you to the same thing. I love it. She's back at her father's house for the week. Could I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think it'd be helpful if I could talk to Isabella. Yeah. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg's, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh, and why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. <coughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming we're assuming we're gonna have to go upstairs. Right, there's the holding cell. I think we looked at this last time. I don't think it's been updated. Yep, that was there last time. That was there last time. I know the map was there last time.
All right, let's, let's go just upstairs, go upstairs. Yep, all right, all right, all right, I'm on it. I love how Allison's like, are you sure you want to do this? And then when she sees me lolly. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just oh. past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Ooh. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. up to a staircase on the side of the building but it'll definitely be locked from the inside if one of us were to create a diversion the other could slip upstairs and open the door and since you're the troublemaker i nominate you as the one to make a scene wait really got a better idea aren't cops like trained to notice suspicious behavior I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Okay. Is that you? Figure out a diversion. Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. <coughs> what could I use? Ooh, can I use that? No. That pile of paperwork? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Mm, let me look at what else is around. I feel like we only were going to get one shot to get this right. <coughs> Nothing on the tables. I mean, maybe we just have to do that. Right, because those are the wanted photos. I can just look at those. Ooh, what is this? This may be our way. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Maybe I'll do the lights. Fuck it. The only thing is his desk lamp is gonna still be on. Oh, oops. Tyler. All right. So now we have to I'm get upstairs. Decision. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Right when you exit the building. Head now. Uh, yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? I'll say I'm not sure. Not sure, actually. I let her know I'm waiting outside if you see her. All right. See you around. Later. I don't like that interaction. Winter air. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. So it's not that door, because that door leads. We've seen those garbage before. cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. 
I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? And she's back. Yeah, obviously, that's where we have to go. I'm trying to see if we can go anywhere else. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah, the, the community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Okay. Hey Eddie, you'll find it closed. Your invitation to the annual social. As usual, I've included a plus one on the chance that one day you'll use it. Yikes, dude. Not very nice. Okay, well, I'm assuming we'll go to his desk last. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Oh, it's the physician. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some mm. strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. He was paying to get us out? <sighs> I was paying for the housing fees and the meal plans and everything. Wow. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Now you applied this? to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why? <laughs> well, Justin uh, Bieber. this Forgot letter says about. you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Damn. Well, that's a, that, that, that's some interesting information no right there. Department budget. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. There's no way he's going to hire someone who's going to go by Officer Mertz. you finding Mert. anything? No. He might work. U.S. Army military... Sandwich artist at Metro Cafe. Shout out, Chiz. That's 
when he was discharged from the army. Okay. Are you sure you checked all the emails? There are emails? Huh. Hey, you. Okay, we're gonna steal your moose, bro. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. There we go. As always, we're going to start at the bottom. You hit reply all Sherlock. We'd like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting on that at the June. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th at 1 o'clock. I need us all here, so speak now. If you can't attend, then I'll reschedule. As I said this morning, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment and has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. La, 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 la. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Uh, have you over for dinner? You can't say no to her roasted salmon. Didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking Whoa. forward to seeing you. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Hi, Chief. Regarding your request this morning about the Ronin case R68653, it hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. So six eight One of six five three. the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Ooh. How old is Brown? Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. He graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da dee do? Um, dumb da dee doom. Can I not? Oh, there we go. D, dumb da d. Dumb. So dumb da d. So we have. Six blank, four blank. I guess we should look up that reference in the archives. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Remind me again. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da dee. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. Okay, let's go in order. So we know dumb. We'll go to zero first. Da oh, wow, okay, so we have three of the numbers. Dumb da D No <laughs> No yes. way. Hell yeah. Got lucky that the two missing numbers were zero and one. Can we close the door behind us? Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. 
We're right. gonna get busted, man. They've We're gonna get caught. Files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because she just wink at us? Sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. I'm assuming we don't have to interact with any of these that aren't. Yeah. Oh my god. R686. Dude, there are so many boxes. Oh my god. I'm assuming he's not going to be here. This is 2005. We're looking for. Actually, no, it is going to be 2005, right? Not this one either. Uh, no, that's not it. Nope. Well. You know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so. either bro <laughs> these codes mean nothing to me no that's not it you find nope <sighs> not this one either i'm literally gonna go through every that's single not one it. nope well <sighs> not this one either no that's not it you find nope them. I am so good at this game, guys. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? No, that's not it. Nope. Well? Not this one either. All right. There are a few over here. Do any of these make sense to me? Oh, R68. There we go. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan, date of birth, uh-huh. Falling over deck into lake, audio recorded tape, brown. So that was a, a, a 1035, right? 20, 2235 is 1135. 23 minutes later at, sorry, 1035 p.m. Then at 1058 p.m., Holt and I arrive at the scene, briefed by patrol officer Jay, bro, Jackie Chan works for the Delos Crossing Police Department. 1107. Located witnesses. Minor's name redacted. Ronan. So they redacted both Tyler and Allison's names. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under the care of patrol officer Jackie Chan. 1141. Coroner investigator T. Dickens. Arrived at the scene. Rolled prints of victim. Crime lab tech. O'Tully. Completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun. Bolts recovered from location. Yeah, because I forget if she shot once, but if she did, it was while she was in the barn, not after she had left the barn. Well, 
So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Twelve twenty-three a.m. Coroner took possession of body, cleared scene. Brown. One o four a.m. Interviewed children at station. Stated that after. So I guess that would be after Tyler's hair was cut short by Allison. Marianne threatened Tyler with a gun. When Tyler fled from her, she pursued child to the docks. Tyler, oh no, we don't know who this is now because this is probably still Tyler because the story that the kids told Eddie is that Tyler stabbed Marianne, not Allison. The Tyler stabbed Marianne Ronan who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Yes, yeah, so it has to be Tyler because of the way that sentence is phrased. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. 6.30 a.m. Canvassed crime scene. Did not recover pair of scissors claimed by... I guess... Tyler. March 4th, so two days after, presented this case to District Attorney B. Cruz. Charged Tyler with... Homicide. That's it. Now, what we do? Search the archive. There's more information? There might be other references on the computer. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Ooh. Let's do Mary Ann first. We'll do both. Ooh, that's cool. Crime report or autopsy? Let's go crime report first. Last update, March of 2005. 24-hour homicide report victim. Okay. Last update. Rap sheet. How do I? References 05R62766. R62. R6. Of course, R62 is not where it should be. R62, right? R52. What? R72. I'm so tight. Is it not here? I need her. You know, I'm just gonna click through some. Not this one either. Uh, Random where's the damn box? Awesome. Well. Zero five R sixty two seven. Oh, it's in here again. I have her yeah, there it is. Okay. She. Uh, got her. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was not fatal. What? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Like, I didn't think the stabbing 
would have killed her, but I mean, I guess it depends on where she gets stabbed, like if it's in the kidney or, you know, somewhere in that lower extremity area, it could still be fatal. Autopsy class A, 9.30 a.m., Dr. Gray, 42-year-old female, dead on arrival, I guess, post-drowning. One stab wound, left loin, two degrees to assault. Sea scissors by daughter, nil, known PMH. Bloody froth seen in mouth and nose, cerebral edema, waterlogged lungs, C pulmonary edema, and emphysema, aquasum, stented stomach, two degrees to fluid content, three inch clean stab wound, left loin, one inch above PSIS, appears anti mortem on CT, fluid and paranasal sinuses and trachea, bilateral pleural effusions. Evidence of fresh water inhalation, diffuse hemolysis, hemolysis, low sodium and high potassium, other conditions contributing but not related to immediate cause of death, homicide. If other than natural causes, how did injury occur with scissors, victim then fell over dock into freezing lake water. Was operation performed for any condition stated above? No. Or a technician, Silva, witness to autopsy, needs to be the... 15 centimeter stab wound, non fatal. Death by drowning. Prior examination, review by DME. Body tag, da 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 da. Tapping blood taken by SS. Heart blood, femoral blood, urine. Okay. So I think the only key thing from that is what they said before we read anything. She drowned. Did I go back to the computer again? Yes, so we're going to continue to get information. Here. Ronan. Bingo. Got something. That's something different. Fax receipt. Okay, I need to check out 0501-C-O-M-E-B-R. 0501-C-O-M. Part may have to go a little on the long side because of how, uh, here we go. How long is it taking to do this? We better be putting the other boxes back. The hell? Brown reported Mary Ann to child services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. And we saw in his personal mail there was something about the Office of Child Services too. I just don't remember what exactly it was. Office of Child Services, Edward Brown, Ronan Family Deposition, Delivery Successful. Interesting. Good job putting it back. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? <gasps> Uh, I feel like if we stall, him, we're gonna get busted. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. No, we are not. He'll see you. Maybe get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. I like that. I mean, I think nothing's gonna buy us any time. Let's go child service, Rona children. Is 05R68MISC. 05R68. Okay, here it is. Cool. We're getting good at this, guys. We're getting good. Huh. Why is that here? Juno, AK, Ronan. Concussion. Pressure in the head. Headache. Loss of consciousness. I, Tessa Vecchi, hereby release St. Meadow Clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of this release agreement. I have read on this hospital release form. What the fuck?
Put it back. Put it back. Good job. What the hell? Anything else? Tesaveki Roman children? No. Here. Recording and child sir. Oh, whoops. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Proof from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Proof. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proof. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Interesting. Got something. Eddie Brown and Tessa Vecchi. Nice. No? Theft report and child neglect report. Okay, I need to check out 2005 201 546. 2005 2015. Here we go. That? Nice. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Dellos crossing this room, summary, some report. Started January 31st. Approved by Eddie Brown. Theft type shoplifting. Person reporting Tessa Vecchi. So Tessa reported Marianne. On January 31st, 2005, at 10.45 a.m., Marianne Ronan entered Benny Vitti Vecchi, owned by Thomas and Tessa. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vecchi informed Ronan that she did not, but she stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Becky stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Becky states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Becky stated that she has suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Before I even finish reading this, I feel like she was framing Marianne for whenever she would generously give Marianne stuff. Like we had, I think one or two memories or cutscenes or whatever, where Marianne's like, oh, I can't really afford this. And Tessa's like, you know what? Just have it, just have it. And this speaks back to when we're assigning the animal characters to each of the, you know, to Eddie, Sansky and Tessa. And Tessa is the Pelican and the Pelican's description is generous but with a catch something along those lines i know i'm paraphrasing here and this is the catch i think that's how i'm viewing this whole thing anyways becky stated that she also had reason to suspect ronan to be guilty of child neglect they don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences becky believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home interesting There's more? I gotta say, I think so far in the game, this is one of my favorite parts of what I've done. So what's been added? The incident? No. I 
reference is 2014, 2003. 2014, 2003. There. Nice. It was 203, sorry, not 2003. Hmm. Nothing helpful. Intoxication. Who reported it? Oh, Laura. So maybe that was his wife reporting Samuel. I'm not going to read all this out loud. You can go ahead and read it for yourself if you like. Oh, so they weren't together. Right there in that very first line, it says, I instructed Mr. Kansky to return home, but he said he was already home. Kansky was referring to the home of Laura Kansky as his own, though he is no longer a legal resident. Yeah, and then on learning that it was her former husband, declined to press charges. She also stated that it was the anniversary of the finalization of their divorce. Okay, not really that helpful. If anything, that paints a little more of a picture of... Sam can't see. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. Oh. That's the line that hey. Marianne used. Get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky, your family! Alright, I feel like Tyler would, would say, are you kidding me? But, let's try and let cooler heads prevail here. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. I feel good about our selection. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Oh, heck yeah. Cooler heads prevailing. The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Uh, 
A snake pretending to care? To be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Oh no. Oof. This is a really hard one, man. This is a really hard one. Because I want to see, like, in the last decision that we made that led to this whole scene. I went with what I thought would get us what we needed, which I feel like didn't necessarily represent how the game is trying to portray Tyler, which is like not as grounded, a little more hot headed. But I feel like keeping Eddie in, if we go with the first answer, may be the way to go. And in a way, it would also kind of appease Allison. You know, I'm still thinking back to the scene that we had, you know, on that little, like, cliff top, whatever, like that mountainous area where we could kind of overlook the river earlier on in this part, I believe, like at the very beginning. And Allison makes it very clear in saying that she doesn't want to ruin her relationships and her family here just to get to the bottom of what exactly happened with Marianne. So that's a long winded way of me basically saying we're going to go with Y here. I'm open to getting there, but it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust, but you've got to place because you, you had this it. conversation with us. And we took the ring, that's right. Oh, I'm happy about that. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's a really nice moment. I like that very much. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely <laughs> Good, not. I like that. Yeah. We're not, a, we're not a big happy family yet. All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm as wicked as it gets. See you both later. Man. Um that was that was really nice. I think this is as good a uh, a good a time as ever um to end this part right here. We're a little over an hour. Um and I'm trying not to go way too long with these parts after I think I saw my part 2 video go for an hour and 45 minutes, which was absolutely insane. But we got to accomplish what we wanted to do in this part. We said setting out into part 6 that our goal or at least at the end of part five, that our goal for part six was to have a conversation with Eddie. 
And while we didn't get all the information that we necessarily Should needed, we, we unearthed some more information about Tessa and about Kansky, Marianne, Eddie, and what he was doing with the child services. Um, we have a lot more in terms of leads that we have to go off of now. So um, I'm pretty happy uh, ending this part right here. Um, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this series like I am. I'm really enjoying it. I am eager to see where the story branches off to next. Um, and I, I mentioned it earlier, but I really enjoyed that. Um, I guess you can call it a mini game of us trying to unearth hey, Let's get information here. from you know, the past from the archives going kind of record to record to record and then getting clues from each one, combining clues, you know, using those keywords and, and unearthing more information. That was that was pretty neat. So I hope that we didn't miss anything in there. I feel like I might have, but I think I also did a pretty solid job of getting some solid information out of that. So, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the series, like I said earlier, and I hope to bring you guys part seven. Um in the coming, you know, days to a week or so. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you later. Should we go? All right. An hour and say, Allison, say it one more time, bro. Say it one more fucking time.